Welcome back to another episode of Look What Jess Found. Yesterday, I did a video showing the penny rolls that I got back from the bank. And one of my concerns was that all the, all the penny rolls were the same in all of in both of the bags, you know, uh, what was it like 40 pounds of pennies, $80 and all the rolls were the same. I was like, Oh my God, this is, this is some coin roll hunter like me who brought back all these pennies. So I opened one up and it was really good. You know, it wasn't great, but it, but it was not, it was obviously not searched because there were, there were coins in there that a coin roll hunter would not leave. So, you know, every, every day, every night, you know, I think about what is it I'm going to do the next day, right? I have various um, little things I could do, quarters, half dollars, silver, gold, whatever. You know what I mean? Stuff I could do. And... Um, I, I, I kind of try to stay in, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Um, I try to stay like on track or in a schedule. So if I pick up something today, that would, that's for like some future, you know what I mean? Because the stuff that I picked up before is what I'm doing today. Right. Um, but I'm going to go away from that little plan because I really want to see some more of these rolls i i'm not I'm, i did one test roll like i said but i need i need something that's a little bit more definitive so i grabbed um three more rolls and they all look copper uh, mostly looks copper so uh, i'm gonna say we i'm not gonna say the jackpot but um that they're not searched that they're not searched they're not searched. So I'm um, I am kind of excited. I'm I'm happy. I'm thrilled. Let me have a sip of coffee. Let me get out my scale. Uh we found what do we find? Six or seven or eight eighty-two coppers in that one roll from this from this group. Um, and that was a record for me. I, I think that's actually the way I made the title was that I put down that uh, of the short. I did a short on it, and I said, oh, we broke a record um, with the 82s from one roll. So here we go. Without further ado. So I'm really, really, I mean, I really, you know, it's like anything else. You know, you put so much time into something. and you build up expectations, you know, uh, maybe that's just the way life works. But. Yeah, yeah just, uh oh, you see, Butterfinger Jess. All right, uh, that's a, we got a fine already. We start off first pennies are fine. That's great. Whoa. Oh, no, no, that's a, that's a zinc. It's raining outside. Pretty heavy. Huh. We have a fine and we have our circulated. All we need is an AU and we got one. And uh, you know what? I'm going to put it here. And then where's this? Where's the penny? At? Yeah, I'm going to move all this. See if I can move all this over a little bit. I want to try to keep some pennies underneath the, uh, the viewfinder. Wow. All right, that's fine. 
I didn't realize how, how far up they were also. I should put it like that. That's fine. Yeah, so this is this is what you want to see. This is what I want to see. Excuse me. It's copper. Wow. We got a we got our first AU. This is definitely what I want to see when um eighty two. That's a large date. It's just a thin one. I'm not going to keep that. I have my group of, oh, 59. All right. <laughs> All right. Cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. That's got to be a super old saying, right? I'm assuming if I had to think of the the uh, the origin, I was going to say the uh, epidemiology, but I don't think that would be that's the correct use of the term. Maybe it is. I don't think so. I think that has more to do with health or something. But the origin of that um, saying. Cooking with gas, another 82. What a p absolute stunner. I think it's copper. It feels light, but I'm pretty sure it's copper. No, 312. Um, probably a lot of people, whatever, 100 years ago were cooking with them. Um, wow, another AU. Cooking with firewood or something, you know what I mean? So, I guess when they started cooking with gas, like, that was a big improvement, you know? So, I bet you that's where that comes from. Cooking with gas now. <laughs> my, uh, my uncle used to say that. If I flip it, yeah, that's. Let's see how miss how uh, rotated is. Not much, just little. If I flip it and I see it's off, I'll, I'll check. That's weird. That is weird. That's super weird. Almost looks painted. Let me look at that under the. Got to be dirt, right? Let me take a. Uh, I mean, that would be a crazy cool lamination error if that's uh, that's what it is. No, it's coming off. I think. Yeah. You see, so I know it's not lamination. I see it started with the wiping. You see, it started getting lighter. So, it's not a lamination error. That would have been nice. A VDB down there, but it looks spread out. I'm going to look at it. <laughs> Eric found a great VDB. I'm saying it right. It's VDB, right? I believe so. Found a great VDB. He sent me a... Um, ooh. Die crack, die crack or... Uh, Ah, let me see. Make sure that's not a piece of <laughs> piece of lint.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a die crack. I'm just saying, like a die crack versus a strike through. I'm saying. I guess I can get a little tiny closer. Yeah, that's nice. Anywhere else? Yeah, I like them when they're nice like that. They're obvious. You know what I mean? I'll hold on to that. You have to hold on to those. The question is, of course, that I'll get, is it worth anything? Looking for the uh, close AM. Yeah, it's wide. Um, yeah, it's worth a buck. It's worth a buck. I'll put it in, I'll put it in the eBay store and um, I'll sell it for a dollar. I got a couple, uh, well, it's not recent. I remember when I first saw, see, that's, that could be, that's probably zinc rod or something. I remember when I first saw a, um, it's too close. That's why it's, I don't know, I see that little stupid eyelash there. inside one of the um what's that called um rolls and i first saw when i first learned about uh plate blistering or blister plating or gas bubbles the whole thing like i was i always just like was like oh look at those look at that pretty uh surface texture i know i see the e it's very light you know, it's that whole little area there. Question, it's not light enough for me. You know, I got to be honest with you. Is someone going to pay a dollar for that? I don't know. I don't think so. It had to be almost like nothing there for that type of an error to be uh, valuable. Um, I'll put that with the fines. And I was so excited, you know, because, um, well, I mean, whenever I learn something new, I, I, I get excited because I add that to my, that's nice. Now, what we needed was for that to cause some sort of uh, uh, doubling. You know what I mean? By itself, it's just cool looking. But if it if it caused doubling, that's where I mean, you can see that the coin's like bent almost. That's how hard it was hit, and you can see the little gas bubbles there. Like there's something going on. You can even see that. Look at the shiny spot up there. You know? But the question is, will somebody pay a dollar for this penny? And if the answer is no, that's my answer. I gotta probably put that with the fines. There's so all these pennies are so nice. It's also nice to see that it's not it's unsearched. But after you after you look at a few thousand pennies, zinc pennies, and you see gas bubbles are so common. Um, I'll weigh this one. Then you know. Like, 
It has to be really, really, really nice. And you just realize it's not that significant anymore. That's all, you know. Um, it's not supposed to be there either. So I put this with the fines. Mm. All right. I am moving kind of slow, I have to say. I don't know if it's just like a slow day, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a slow day. I'm going to weigh this one, of course. Oh, no, no, it's copper. What am I talking about? I got like confused with the years for, for a second. I put that with the fines. It's dirty, but it's beauty. Put this with the fines. Yeah, I'm okay with just getting um Well, that's not true. I need we need we need to get an error or two. In every search um, but I mean if the alternative is you know nothing or or beautiful coppers you know what I mean like I take this over um, that's a small date that's a beauty just needed the D that's all We find that small day copper D. We're in it to win it. You know, so like I was saying before, Eric found the um found the V, right? And uh I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I you know it depends on the I don't re, I don't re exactly recall. I remember the V though was very clear. And um the V was very clear. I'll check that. Oh, no. There's no way that's a V. You see that? Imagine I'm talking about the V and the V comes up. That would be so ridiculous. This is beautiful. Right, but this is a copper, right? You don't get extra Vs in copper, do you? You see that there, right? That would be crazy. You know, now is that an extra V? The problem is it's too light. I put this with the, it's almost AU, I'll be honest with this, super close to AU condition. Um, it's very close to AU. I don't know. Let me see. I'll leave it there. And sometimes what I do at the end is uh, I'll look at it if it's too dark. Right, because if I let's say I sell it as an AU, okay, you can you can see that the the letters are like smoothed out there. Yeah, there's something going on with this one, and it's a copper, which is cool. Now let me look at. I have to look at another penny just to um, because my eyes are adjusting. Yeah, so it says this is a strike error, either grease, something. Something's going on. Like, it's not right. Uh, I'm sure there's a special name for it. But you can see all the letters are, um, how about his face? Yeah, you know, the diet, the smooth dye or something like that. I'll hold on to that.
So that's wonderful that they got that, you know, that shifted hub or whatever. But without, you know, without causing any doubling, it's basically worthless. So that's basically, that's what you want to see. You want to see the doubling. And then you got something that's worth a few bucks, you know. But otherwise. No. That's nice. See, these are the ones that, that get me like, oh, should I put this with the AUs or with the fines, you know? It's so if I'm not sure, and it's I know it's misaligned die also, both sides, and eh, not really. So I put it with the fines. Then if I if I'm unsure, I just put it with the fines. Like I was saying before, if I sell the um, I look at that D. If I sell a roll of, uh, and I'm saying that they're almost uncirculated. nothing i'll uh you know i don't want someone to come back and say oh some of these are not almost uncirculated you know like one out of 50 is a little dark or something you know so i try to make sure they're all at least shiny you know like this this is such so borderline you know it's hard it's hard to tell I'll put it with the fines. Like I try to keep the AU roll like really, really like something that's hard to find, you know? Even though it's only going to be worth five bucks or something. Still pretty cool though, I think. Little bit closer. It yeah, was definitely going to hit the uh, the one hour mark if I don't get a move on here. And of course, you know what we what what we want to see is some sort of significant error, you know, or, or a key date, you know, of course, I've never found a key date, you know, a 1933 D, a 1931 D, a 1926 S, and I could go on and on, right? So, of course, that would be super incredible, you know, a super crazy, look at that with the writing on it. What is, is that writing? What is that? I'll look at that in a second. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in on it. Is that lib? If that says Liberty, that would be just too, um, too awesome. I don't know what that is. I mean, it's right above Liberty, and each little line is at almost like the same distance as Liberty is. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'll hold on to it. It's weird. Like me. Eh. All right. Nice 1982 copper. Large date. That's a lot of that's a lot of eighty twos. I'll put that with the fines. 
So at, at minimum, we know that these aren't searched through um, pennies. So, I mean, I'm, I'm giving a chance, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, here we go. It's a large date. I think it's copper. It's super bright, though. That's a beauty. Yeah, 308. That's a beauty. All right. See this. See when you when I look at them and I go, oh, that's AU. That's what I want in my AU um, rolls. That there's no question about it. It's a beauty. And if something looks like 100% uncirculated, then I then I don't even put in the roll. I keep that. I look at that D. What's that up there? Hold on a second. Let's look at that again. Just a clean spot, right? I look at that too. Yeah. All right, let's look at the D. No. Wow. So that's all I'm looking for, right? It's a fighting chance. That's it. You know, a punch's chance. Put that with the fines. That's all. chance to find something I'll look at that what year is it 90 so what it is is oh it's doubled oh yeah I'll take that the whole, almost the whole, not all of it, which is almost good that it's not all of it because it shows the contrast. But almost the whole peripheral is doubled. Some of them you can see it better with the T's, the S. I mean, the whole thing, the whole top. That's what you want to see. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but it's. How about the? How about on the obverse? No. Yeah, I'll take that. close that's close if it's close it goes with the fines hmm. yeah these would never never be in, in a searched role probably 80 percent of these wouldn't be left in a searched role Probably none of the copper at all would be left in a search roll. I'll put that with the AUs. It's just because it's so it's a little older. It's nice. You know, the copper is um copper, what is it? Two two 
to um, put that in the fines. It's close. It's close to AU. Man, is that close? Ah, I got to put that to AU. It's too, it's too bright. Like I said, at the end, I'll take it out. Small date. Zinc. All right. Now, I'm not even going to look, but I'm going to assume that the small date zinc. I shouldn't assume that. 2.5, it is zinc. It's also very nice condition. I think, I just, so the, so the 82D small date, I believe, Um, copper, right? That's the one that's worth the money or the most money. I found D large dates. Um, I don't know if I found a D small date uh, zinc either. It's cool. This is cool. That's the, from the crimp roll. I'll keep. I'll keep it just to do a short on it. Because that, that's probably one of the most crimped out pennies I've ever seen. Better take another sip of the juice. Can't believe all these 82s. I think this is a, it's a beauty to copper large state. Uh, that's a beautiful 1990. Absolutely stunner. This is probably like a first strike or something like that. Yeah, I see that. It's not that. It's not. It's not enough. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah, that's what I'm looking into now, because um, that's something that's been. I, I might even have to hold on to this. I can't believe how it, it just stands out. I'm gonna hold on to it. It's, I'm telling you, it's like a, that's like a first strike or something. It's just, I mean, I hold on to it just for the video, and then I'll I'll circulate it again. I'll do a short on. I'm saying, well, I definitely want to look at that. Never seen anything like this before, those lines. I know you'll disagree with me. I think it's I think it's uh I think it's mint damage. I think those are strike throughs or something. And too small. I mean, it'll be argued to death, so I won't keep it, but can you feel it? Let's see. Mm. If 
But irregardless, what we wanted to make sure was that these roles were not searched. That was my large, that was my biggest concern is that the role would be searched, that there would be all zincs, in <laughs> 40 pounds of zinc, you know what I'm saying? And that would have been stinky. Haven't found one wheat scent, though. Now, to me, that would be suspect. I mean, can't nobody would put all these all these old coppers. I mean, I found a, there's a 59 in here, too. There's that 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 I can't see. I can't see that being left in a. Uh... Oh, look at that. Hmm. I can't see that being left in a uh, in a roll. Yeah, I'm not going to keep that. So what I'll do is, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, you know, I know that's dangerous when I start doing that. For some reason, this is taking like longer than usual. I don't know if the... Uh, the brain's asleep still, or what? I don't know if it's the rain. I look at that. Is that all doubled? Wow. It's very similar to the last one. Well, has it's not? I'm not. I don't know if you consider that doubled. I mean, the the other one looked better than this. To be honest with you, this looks more like something else like the uh from the like the grease or something you know like i can see grease in some of them i don't like it i don't like it. i'm not keeping it um you know i don't know if i'm like not in a rush to finish because of the weather outside So I'm like, I'm like slow walking this whole thing right now. I'll check that on the bottom there. Nah, it's just dirt. You know what I mean? Got up kind of early. It's the weekend. I see that too. That's, that might be significant. Can't go out, you know? Now, whatever that is, I really can't tell what it is. The N has some, it, you know, some very little double shadowing on the top, but not enough to be, to me, to be significant. So I'm not keeping it. that with the fines um so maybe what i'll do is huh i like that just wish it caused some doubling you know that's really cool but it's not 
And obviously, it's an error. Like, it's not supposed to look like that, but it's not. Is, did it cause doubling on the eye? I'll check that. You know what? It really didn't do doubling on the eye. It's more that the punch is so hard, right? The punch on the eye is so hard because of the because the because the the hub is lifted on on the left a little bit that it created a shadow because of the the angle of the hub on the left. I'm calling it a hub. If I'm not correct, uh, you can correct me on that. I thought it was called a hub. So I'm not keeping it. So I think what I might do is um, since, since I'm taking so long to do this is finish up with this that, that line there. Um, see if I could think of something <laughs> for the bonus feature. Maybe we'll just do it organically and uh, fly by the seat of our pants and see what, what's what, you know? See if something comes off the top of my head. Um, I'm really thinking about the... Um, I'd really like to talk more about... I'll look at that six. Talk more about the whole... Nah. The whole process of... I'm going to do that. All right. It's in my head right now. I'm going to end. I'm going to, we're going to end there. Um, it's 42 minutes. That's pretty, pretty good. We'll do a little quick uh, bonus section and then maybe I'll just throw some of this, uh, content up, uh, for public on, uh, on today's date since I have a little extra, some extra pennies, but I'm really, all right, let me just, I'm talking too much. I could do this on the, uh, thank you for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Let's see. I'm gonna go over here, maybe a little bit over here, a little bit over here. Let's see. Now I'm blind. <laughs> Dung. Just kidding. Bad joke. Bad joke. Sorry. <clears throat> I do have difficulty seeing, um, reading without glasses and things that are very cl close. The same thing. So I. My goal is to, one of my goals, I have, I have a lot of goals, a lot of things swimming around up there, you know? One of my goals is to obtain enough content, which is basically pennies, uh, material, so I don't have to, I don't have to think about it, you know, because I'm a worry wart. And... Same thing with like scheduling the videos out. It's why I keep doing videos, even though I don't have to, you know, I really want them to be out there. Um, it's also very good for membership, right? Because you have all this content to, to look at that's for members. It's, it's members to public. So it's not members only. It's members only, only up until the day is scheduled. So it's cool. I mean, like every, it's a win-win all around. Um, I don't, my, my wife told me that other, People do that and that, you know, it's very common to schedule videos. I, I just talk about it a lot and um, I don't know. I really don't know what other channels do or anything like that. There's some other channels that I watch. It's very few and select and they have their own little niche of a of, of way of doing things like I do. Very specific to the person, to the content creator or the channel, what, what have you. So. One of my cons worries is that, you know, um, I'll be in a rush. I don't like rushing. I, I do not like to rush. So I want to get and have a basement. Does that matter? I guess I'm a worry ward. And pennies have a lot. I like that guy's channel, man. Uh, I'll give him a shout out. Um, 
you probably never even heard of me, but uh, Two Sheds Gabby. I think that's his name, Two Sheds Gabby. Um, I like his channel. He's cool. You know, he's uh, obviously he's someone like in my age range, I believe. Um, so I, I think when you're in similar age range, you kind of just identify just from the time period. You know, most of my watchers are watchers. Yeah, watchers. People who watch who watch the videos are over 45 or something like that. Like 60% are over 45. Funny thing is the um, half of the people who I communicate with, I think, are under 45. So... I don't, I don't understand the psychology behind that, but it's pretty cool. But regardless, so Two Sheds Gabby's, his main thing appears to be, from what I've seen, is copper um, gaining, uh, there's an R word I'm thinking of, uh, rec it'll come to me later. I hate that when I can't think of a word. getting copper pounds and pounds and pounds of copper and he's right right it's worth over two cents per every penny copper penny is worth over two cents a penny so imagine if every dollar was worth two dollars imagine i mean that's incredible buying power right I and mean, imagine if copper for some reason something happened to it and then the pennies became worth four pennies and you have a thousand pennies now you have 4,000 pennies, whatever, you know what I mean. So for every, anyway, you get, the, you get the idea. So, but I don't know where he keeps his, his, his pennies, but, you know, if each one of those bags, like I said, has to weigh about 20, 20 pounds minimum. I mean, they're super heavy. Like, I know what a 20-pound weight feels like. And that's about, they have to be at least, I could weigh it, but I'm telling you, like 20 pounds, 19 pounds, 22 pounds, whatever, something like that. Those bags of pennies, he's got boxes and boxes and boxes of pennies. So hopefully, you know, like my concern would be, I mean, to put it like, let's say a thousand pounds, a thousand. This, this many pennies would probably be like 100 pounds. This bag of pennies was 20. So this times that by five. Yeah, so like a maybe a one and a half foot square cube would probably be about 100 pounds. 10 of those is 1,000 pounds. 20 of those cubes is 2,000 pounds. You're talking about you're getting on like a car, car um, weight and in a very small a very small space. I would be afraid how that would affect like the joists and the beams and things like that and you know of a floor. But I have a basement. So that's where I was going with all this, but I have a basement. So I could put a million pounds down there, you know what I mean? It won't matter. So I'm getting my pennies. And it's not valuable. I don't have to worry about theft or anything like that. We're talking about what, you know, whatever, a few hundred bucks in pennies, which is a ton of pennies. Not a ton. Getting there. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I am every chance I get to get customer submitted roles. I'm going for them. I want to get super ahead and have like years of content if I can. So I don't have to keep on searching for it, so, you know, whatever. Something happens, I could just chill back and still do my videos, you know. But, you know, if you get if you get 10 rolls, five bucks worth, and they're all searched through, it's not a big deal. But if you drive a half hour or 45 minutes and you, you get $80, $100 in rolls, and, you, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more of a chore to um to have a bummer then you have to bring it back you know it's a little bit of a bummer you know you waste you blow a, f a few hours of your day and energy that, you, that i could be doing something else if they're if they're searched through roles or zincs 
one or two coppers or something like that, you know, or no copper. There's no copper in a it search through, you know, I, I think. So that's what I've been doing. I want to share that. I did a couple videos showing the 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 the, the um uh, the canvas bags that I purchased specifically for the pennies to go when I go to the bank. So I, I'm I'm a little bit more professional, you know. With with it, it's not a big deal, but it is to me. So here we are at 50 minutes. We had a little bonus content, and um, I hope you like that. I did. Please like and subscribe. Give the thumbs up. Leave comments. Talk about positive things going on in your life in the comments if you want to. Think about becoming a, a member. Um, I think it's worth it. I mean, I put out, I put so much energy into these uh, scheduled videos that I think it's worth it, you know. And I know a bunch of people are considering becoming members. So that will be, um, and I'm assuming that that will transform into the members kind of a you know because that that would first of all that would take so much and I'm, i know I'm, I'm going on to like another topic here but that would take not take off i would pref it would be a nice addition to watch um to see the comments from the members to each other that would be so cool you know what i mean um and, and, and the members probably know more than I do, right? So that would make a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm going to end there. I started rambling. I caught myself, and I'll see you in the next one.